Hold on to those afterburners, Fire Nation. JLD here, and welcome to episode 1704 of EO Fire, where I chat with today's most inspiring entrepreneurs seven days a week. Knock over that domino. Start your chain reaction of awesome Fire Nation with thefreedomjournal.com. Now let's chat with today's featured guest, Jim Harshaw. Jim, are you prepared to ignite? Absolutely. Let's do this, JLD. Failure, struggle, and setbacks are not only an inevitable part of life, but a necessary step on the path to success. Speaker, coach, and podcast host, Jim Harshaw shares powerful stories to empower his clients and audiences to overcome their own challenges and achieve success despite their inevitable failures. Jim, take a minute, fill in some gaps from that intro and give us a little glimpse of your personal life. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I I learned most of my my big lessons on the wrestling mat. I was a division one all American ended up being the youngest division one head wrestling coach in the country for a spell. And, uh, just surrounded my, you know, I was surrounded by Olympians and national champions and just elite performers my whole life. So, uh, I had this sort of amazing experience growing up that, that I've been able to replicate into, into the real world. But, um, in addition to that, I, I have four amazing kids ages three through 11 I uh, live in Charlottesville, Virginia from Pittsburgh originally, which is uh, home of the, the religion of the Pittsburgh Steelers. So go Steelers. Oh, is that a football and, team? Uh, yeah. Yeah. They're pretty oh, okay. decent. Well, I was, I, I'm a Patriots <laughs> fan, so we have a hard time sometimes. I know. It's not even talking about it. It's just not good. <laughs> can, we just, can you edit this part out? And just Done. So Jim, I kind of want to talk now about your area of expertise because you know we just talked about how you were a wrestling coach, of course, a great wrestler, and now you're doing a lot of things on the success circuit. So what would you say the one area of your expertise is? And then break down for us, Fire Nation, something that we don't know about this area of expertise that we probably should. You know, I mentioned that I, I, I grew up around these just elite performers, you know, there's something about being an athlete and performing at a high level and, um, being around Olympians and I got to train at the Olympic training center. I was Olympic hopeful. And, uh, so between my experience around elite performers there and then my experience in, in, in athletic fundraising, I've been around just millionaires and billionaires and just high performers and entrepreneurs and successful people. And then through my own podcast, I have a podcast called success through failure and, and just inter- interviewing, you know, astronauts and, uh, again, billionaires and, and, um, just uh, other elite performers. I, I've discovered that there's this this process, this replicable process to create success that I don't think I think most people just really struggle with the clarity on on what's next for them. Well, there's there's an actual process that you can go through that I've discovered that that all elite performers have in some way, shape or form in their life. And, I, and I've kind of I, I've discovered that through my own experience, personal experiences and then through these experiences of elite performers. But uh, but but since I've discovered that it, it's just been an incredible time sharing that with other people and, and, and applying it to my own life initially, but also sharing that with other people. So it's been uh, it's been a pretty fantastic journey, uh, all said and done, from from soup to nuts, from beginning to till now. So, in a nutshell, what is that process? Yeah, it, it really started from probably my worst entrepreneurial failure. Well, then let's just go ahead and dive into what you consider your worst entrepreneurial moment, but make sure we're definitely going to be highlighting the process that you've created. Absolutely. Throughout. We'll zoom out uh, briefly, real quickly. So my my experience as a Division One All American wrestler started with it was it was failure, failure, failure. It was it was all these failures, right? And and my my goal at the national championships uh, when I was in college was to be a Division One All American. It's there's you know it's it's every wrestler's dream to be a Division One All American. It's actually statistically harder for a high school wrestler to be a Division One All American than it is for a high school football player wow. to make it to the pros. So wow. so it's it's a big deal to get there. And there's a hundred thousand people throughout the three days of this event, fifteen thousand people per session, and. And, and my freshman year, I failed my sophomore year. I failed my junior year. I failed and and finally my senior year, I, I made it, you know, I, I beat the fourth rank wrestler in the country and, and got my hand raised and I achieved my lifelong goal. So fast forward 15 years and I'm out in the real world and, and I've, you know, have this history of success and I created success as an athlete. I'd uh, been a division, went on to be a division one head coach. I was an Olympic hopeful, trained at the Olympic training center, um, started a business from scratch, sold that successfully, started another business and that business failed. And, and so it, when this business, when I finally came to the realization that this wasn't going to work with this business, you know, I had a failed business. I had debt up to my eyeballs. 
And my relationship with my wife was just not healthy, not strong. Uh, I wasn't spending enough time with my kids and, and I was in the worst physical shape of my life. So, you know, and, and I had this moment of like, you know, what's going on here? Like I, I was the guy who, who worked really hard and created success. And now here I am with, you know, all, just sort of everything's kind of broken in my life. And, and I was scrolling through Craigslist for looking for a job and, 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 I remember one evening, so I, I, I was scrolling through Craigslist, I closed my computer, I go upstairs and I lay down in bed, my wife's already asleep and I'm, and I'm laying there thinking like, how could I create so much success at one point in my life and then get to this point where I just have failure in every area of my life? And, and I, as I lay there, I, I, I just was trying to replicate, how do I replicate the success that I've had before into the real world and into my life now? And and at that moment, literally that moment, this, this like it was like a camera lens slowly coming into focus where I realized there was there was a process, right? There was this process that I cre- used to create success and, and I started see- noticing it in other people and I said, there, there's something to this. And, th- and the process was this. Number one, when it, it, all elite athletes have this and I had this, they have core values, right? They have something that, that's important to them, all right? They have a reason to do what they're doing, okay? That, that's bigger than them. And, and you know, it may, be, uh, it may be because, you know, you like the attention that you get as an athlete or you like the camaraderie or you like to work on focus goals, whatever it is. So I had these core values that, that drove me. And then the second piece was this. It's a four-step system. And the second piece is this. I had goals that actually aligned with those values because most people – what happens is, is they get out in the real world and they have some thir- certain things that are important to them and then they have goals, but they don't align, right? They're, they're totally separate and, and, and they start chasing after things because that's what the media tells them that they should chase after. They, they look at their next door neighbor and the car that's parked in their driveway and they, and they start chasing goals that aren't important to them. And that's where they struggle. That's where they struggle with clarity. And people talk about balance and not having balance in their life. It's because they, they don't know what their values are and they haven't built goals on top of those values. So they don't have goals that actually align with what's important to them. So I had those when I was an athlete and then I had what I call an environment of excellence, right? I had a coach who kicked me in the rear end when I needed it. He picked me up when I needed picked up. I had teammates, you know, I held them accountable. They held me accountable. I had a uh, sports psychologist. I had a nutritionist. I had a strength and conditioning coach. I had all these things in my environment that, that manifested success. And then the fourth step is I had a plan for follow through. Okay. And for me at that point was number one, I was on scholarship. So I had to keep pushing because otherwise I lose my scholarship. And number two, you know, if I lost on, you know, Saturday, my coach would be like, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow at the workout. See you Sunday, you know? So I had people holding me accountable and I had this follow through system. So I realized I had none of this John in my life now. And that's why I was experiencing all this failure. I felt so out of balance. I, my, my health, my fitness, my relationships, my goals, my finances, everything was out of whack. Everything was out of balance. But when I realized there was this process, I was actually able to re- recreate this into my life and, and find success. And now I own multiple real estate properties, have a successful business. I've been, um, um, you know, ran a half marathon not long ago. I've got a healthy relationship with my wife and kids again. So everything's back in balance. So I have this clarity, this focus, this balance that, that I had when I was an elite athlete and I've replicated it into my life now. And that's this process that can be replicated into your listeners' lives. Okay. So it starts with core values and ends with the follow through. So just real quick, just go bang, 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 bang for those four yeah. starting at the top, run through it. Number one, core values. Got to know what's important to you. Number two, goals. You have to have goals that align with those values. Number three, you have to have an environment of excellence. You've got to surround yourself with the right people, read the right books, listen to the right podcasts, turn off the garbage you can listen to and watch on TV. <laughs> and then fourth is that plan for follow through that plan to execute when things get hard, when life starts pulling you in a million different directions, you have to plan, have to plan to execute through that. Well, let me just tell you, Jim, you are a brother from another mother and fire nation. You know this because that's something that we continuously harp upon here on EO fire. Number one, like it's going to be something that's bigger than just you. Like what is your core value? What do you stand for? And yes, you're going to have struggles throughout that, but 
If you can always go back to your core value, that's your North Star, that's your guiding light. And then, of course, goals. That's why I created the Freedom Journal, so you can set and accomplish your number one goal with that focus in 100 days. An environment of excellence. What are you doing right now, Fire Nation? You're with Jim. You're with myself. We are two of your people that you're hanging out with today. And as Jim Rohn says, you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So we're two of the five so far. So keep up that heat. And then, of course, follow through. And that's going to come with surrounding yourself with the right people, having the right mastermind, having that coach that Jim had said, see you tomorrow. Who's the people that you are meeting with on a consistent basis that know you and your business intimately that are holding your feet to the fire? That is key. Those four steps, apply them to your life, Fire Nation. Now, Jim, shift because we're going to talk about an aha moment. That obviously, laying in bed, having that camera focus-like moment was a huge idea, a huge aha moment. But you've had a lot of these ideas throughout your life. That's why you've achieved the level of success that you have. Give us a story of one of your greatest ideas that you think would resonate with Fire Nation so that we can see how you turned that idea into success. Tell us that story. I had been in business for quite a long time. I'd been an entrepreneur and even being as a, as a head coach, you're kind of an entrepreneur. And, and when I, and I realized that I could take this process and turn it into, into a business and I could actually help people with it. That was a huge moment for me. And, and I, so I, I, I actually applied to do a, a TEDx talk and, and anybody can Google my TEDx talk. And it was uh, called why I teach my children to fail. Um, so I, I did that TED talk and the only reason I was able to do that is because I had a goal uh, of improving my, my public speaking skills and I signed up for Toastmasters. So, um, so I, I did the, I did the, uh, the TEDx talk and then, and then I started the podcast and I started helping people and, and teaching people and sharing this process. And when I learned that I could turn this process into a business and actually help people, but also help myself and help my family and, and make the world a better place at the same time. It was, it was this big moment of revelation. You know, I've seen a lot of people do this type of thing before. And, and for me to actually create that, it's been uh, um, just a lot of fun and a, and a big journey, big, a fun journey. And it was a big aha moment for me. So your TEDx, Why I Teach My Children to Fail, obviously was probably somewhere between 15 to 18 minutes. I know that's usually the average. But give us like a one or two sentence sum up. Like why do you teach your children to fail? And Fire Nation, of course, on the show notes page, we'll link to this TEDx talk so you can go watch it there. But just the, the meat and potatoes, Jim, why? Yeah, so the TEDx talk about why I teach my children to fail was – it, it, it was. It really stemmed from this idea of my own failure as a wrestler and how that eventually translated into success. But but the real the core concept there is failure is a necessary step on the path to success. When we look at successful people, we look at you, John. We we go, oh, everything's easy for you. Everything's <laughs> easy for JLD. Every the success just comes easy. We just see people standing on the podium. We see the successful you know entertainer up on stage. We see. The, people on TV, we see success, but we don't realize that there's failure and struggle and setbacks and adversity all along that path. And, and that was the, that's really the core message of my TED Talk. Love that. So Jim, let's kind of fast forward to today. What are you most fired up about right now? It's about sharing this system, sharing this process, because when I share this process, I'm impacting the world in the way that I'm supposed to impact the world, you know, through this, this Ted talk, I know it really resonated with a lot of people. And I started, people started hiring me to speak, you know, without even me soliciting that. And, and I knew that I had a message that resonated with people. So I'm fired up about sharing the system. I'm fired up about sharing my podcast and I'm fired up about sharing that message. Well, I am fired up about the lightning round. So Fire Nation, don't you go anywhere. We're going to take a quick minute first to thank our sponsors. Fire Nation, are you looking for premium stock footage or a music track for your next big project? If so, I've got the perfect duo for you, Video Blocks and Audio Blocks. Video Blocks is a subscription-based stock media site that gives you unlimited access to premium stock footage, and Audio Blocks has a library of over 100,000 music tracks, sound effects, and loops. Unlike some other stock sites, downloads from Video Blocks and Audio Blocks are yours forever and 100% royal free this month video blocks is launching its latest collection creator to creator where they'll be featuring videos and music from creators just like you visit videoblocks.com slash fire for a two for one deal get audio blocks for free when you sign up for your 149 dollar video blocks subscription that's video blocks v-i-d-e-o-b-l-o-c-k-s dot com slash fire 
Jim, are you ready to rock the lightning rounds? Let's do this. What was holding you back from becoming an entrepreneur? I mean, the really the only thing holding me back from an entrepreneur is, you know, it was like you, uh, you know, I, I was supposed to go out and get a job. I was supposed to get out and get, go out and get a job. I went to the university of Virginia. It was the number one public school in the country. And I got a two degrees, I got a master's degree and I was supposed to get a job. And I did that. And I had a pretty unique job in that I was a college wrestling coach, but, um, but I, I did, I went down that path, but always knowing that I wanted to be an entrepreneur deep down. And, uh, and that's really what, um, you know, that's really where that all came from. What's the best advice you've ever received? You know, it had to have been from my dad. Uh, my dad, you know, he never went to college, construction worker, hardest person, hardest working person that I know. And, and he's always said, all the way through my wrestling career, all the way through my life, he's always told me, do every little thing you can to get an edge. Outwork everybody and do all the, pay attention to the little things because those are the things that are going to separate you from everybody else. Yeah, I love the comment of, you always can control one variable, Fire Nation, how hard you work. What's a personal habit that contributes to your success? I call it the productive pause, and it's actually this core habit, this master common habit that I've realized that all my guests have done on my podcast. Uh, I know you do this type of thing. This is based on like the Freedom Journal, journal the Mastery Journal. Um, I did this when I was an athlete. The most important one hour that I ever spent in my entire wrestling seasons was the hour that I spent sitting down with my coach and planning. So the productive pause is, is, it's planning, it's goal setting, it's, uh, meditation, it's journaling. It's, it's all these things that take you off the treadmill of life and help you actually plan. So you're working on the right things. And I define the productive pause as a short period of focused reflection around specific questions that leads to clarity of action and peace of mind. I love that. The productive pause. In fact, I always have a word of the year in my word for 2017 is think. I just want people yeah. to step back and think. I mean, so many people go through decades of their lives just filling it up with this busy, this, this meaningless, this shallow work when, man, if you just think, you go back, you can just have that one idea to go deep and you're off to the races. Now, Jim, let's talk about an internet resource like an Evernote that you think Fire Nation could rock. Yeah, you know, I tried Evernote and it never really stuck for me. The, I think the most underrated resource on the internet, John, is Google Documents and Google Drive. I use that for everything. It, it's my cloud storage. It's my document storage. It's my document sharing. It's where I keep notes. I can, I, you know, anywhere I'm at, whether, you know, any computer I'm at, any, any device I'm on, and I know Evernote does the same thing, but, but Google Docs, so many more people use it. So you can share it. You can have two people interact on it at, at, at the same time. Uh, I use it for my clients. I, we use it for sort of a shared journal. Uh, so I think Google Docs and, and Google Drive. If you could recommend one book, Jim, what would it be and why? The book that I always recommend, and I know this has been recommended on your show before, is How to Win Friends and Influence People. It is the single most powerful book to help people learn how to deal with other people, whether you're in sales, whether you're a parent, whether you're a manager, whether you're a leader, no matter what your role in life, you deal with other people and How to Win Friends and Influence People will help you with that. Jim, let's end today on fire, brother, with you giving us a parting piece of guidance, the best way that we can connect with you, and then we'll say bye-bye. The parting piece is, is this. It's do the productive pause. Like John Lee Dumas says, think. Stop and think. And I'd love to help people with that. I can, they can come to my website, jimharshawjr.com slash fire. They can sign up for a free session with me if they want to do their own productive pause and stop and think and have somebody take them through sort of a, a guided thinking process so they can get clarity and balance and get refocused on the most important goals for themselves. So, And that's the best way to find me, just my website, jimharshawjr.com or on Twitter, Jim Harshaw, uh, Instagram, Jim Harshaw Jr., Facebook, Jim Harshaw Jr., and is Junior spelled out or is that J-R period? Uh, J-R, yeah. Got thanks it. for asking. Jim Harshad, J-R. Fire Nation, you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. And you have been hanging out with J-H and J-L-D today. So keep up the heat. And head over to eofire.com. Just type Jim in the search bar and his show notes page is going to pop up with everything that we've been talking about today. These are the best show notes in the biz. Timestamps, links galore. Of course, we'll have Jim's great TEDx talk, Why I Teach My Children to Fail, linked up there. So you want to watch that. It's 
pretty epic from everything that I've heard. I'm going to go check it out myself. And of course, go directly to Jim Harshaw. That's H-A-R-S-H-A-W Jr. That's juniorjr.com slash fire and sign up for a chat with Jim. You can talk about how you can productively pause, how you can really embrace my word of 2017, which is think because none of us do it enough, myself included. But again, that's Jim Harshaw Jr.com slash fire. Go check that out. Take advantage of these opportunities, Fire Nation. And Jim, thank you, brother, for sharing your journey with Fire Nation today. For that, we salute you and we'll catch you on the flip side. Hey, Fire Nation, hope you enjoyed our chat with Jim today. And productivity, discipline, and focus are my three greatest strengths. They can be yours too. Simply visit themasteryjournal.com, master all three of these skills in 100 days, and I will catch you there, or I'll catch you on the flip side. Looking for premium stock footage of a music track for your next big project? If so, I've got the perfect duo for you, Video Blocks and Audio Blocks. Visit videoblocks.com slash fire for a two-for-one deal. Get Audio Blocks for free when you sign up for your $149 Video Blocks subscription today at videoblocks.com slash fire.